What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and today we're checking out the brand new HP Spectre X360 2-in-1 laptop featuring Intel Evo certification as well as a 12th generation processor. So we've been checking out the HP Spectre lineup for quite a few years now and it's always been a really good productivity option that delivers great hardware, portability, battery life, and also performance all in one setup. But in the latest generation model right here, there's a few specific features that I'm really excited about, especially from a productivity and a creativity standpoint. And I wanna give a huge thanks to Intel and HP for sponsoring this video. So for starters, just take a look at this computer right here. It has this very sleek design and it comes in at a form factor of 13 and a half inches. And I feel like that is a really nice size where the computer is extremely portable, but it also has a nice aspect ratio that allows it to be good for productivity and also multimedia but just the shape of it and everything feels even more portable than even a 14 inch computer that is just slightly larger. What I also love about the hardware is just how well built the computer is. You go ahead and take a look at it. It has like a full metal body to it, but at the same time, it still has the nice chamfered edges and the hinge design being a two in one computer is great. And the bezels are also relatively thin. What I also really enjoy is the inputs and the keyboard. You can see the keyboard itself has a very nice layout to it, comfortable to type, relatively soft, and there isn't too much bend to the computer itself. There's also a fingerprint sensor integrated into the keyboard for easy biometric login. But what I also like is that the trackpad is a really good size and this contributes to the productivity and intuitive experience. What makes the Spectre line and the X360 name specifically interesting though, is just how many different use cases that you can have. Not only can you use it as like a laptop, but you can also flip it over and use it in a tent mode and be able to watch movies and TV shows in this type of form factor, but you can also bend it all the way and utilize it as a tablet and take advantage of the input system of both the touch screen and also the included stylus that allows you to draw and write in a very precise form, just like a pencil. Some other aspects of the hardware when it comes to the inputs includes a USB type A port on one side, as well as two Thunderbolt 4 ports and also a micro SD. And the way that it's placed is also a nice touch with the cut corners that I've seen in previous generations where one of the Thunderbolt 4 or USB-C ports is actually angled towards the corner. So if you have like a hard drive or any additional accessories that don't necessarily have to be in the way right here, you can just have them around the back, which I really like. So just from the hardware alone, and the build quality, this lineup has had great refinements over the years and in the latest generation, there's that extra touch to it. One of my other favorite features though is the display. This model that I have right here in particular is a 3000 by 2000 resolution OLED display, which is always nice to see on a laptop. And with the trend of OLED coming to monitors and most computers nowadays, it is really nice to see that the display is a huge priority in a computer that is really focused towards creativity with the stylus and the ability to use it as a touchscreen, but also consume multimedia on a portable and day-to-day -day basis. This display looks incredible. As you would know from OLED displays, it has great levels of contrast and deep blacks, but the colors really do jump out of the screen and you still have about 400 nits of brightness, which is pretty decent for most scenarios. But more specifically, it's just the color accuracy, the vibrance and the contrast that really stands out with the OLED panel. So when it comes to hardware itself, from a productivity standpoint, this really does check all the boxes. Personally, I've been using a 14 inch computer for the past few years now, and I believe that this form factor with the amount of power that you're able to get is gonna be the most convenient for the most people out there. So I feel like the next logical topic to talk about is the actual performance. So with the Intel Evo platform of laptops, this is what you can expect and how it receives the certification and the sticker that you see on the products itself. Intel Evo laptops are rigorously tested and verified against 25 tasks, 200 workflows, and 150 components to give you a no compromise experience. You can expect to have a long lasting battery life and fast speed for productivity and Wi-Fi 6E performance powered by the 12th generation of Intel processors. This can improve your speeds by up to three times and that is important if you're uploading large files or 
or downloading large files for work, for example, such as uploading video to the cloud or downloading your photos from Lightroom. They also ensure features such as fast charging, wakes up in less than one second, and essentially pushing towards a zero compromise experience that gives you the performance that you need, as well as reliable internet connectivity to fully take advantage of the networks and the range when you're out and about. The spec that I have right here in particular is the Intel Core i7 1255U 12th generation processor that also features Intel Iris Xe integrated graphics in a portable form factor. On top of that, this one also has 16 gigs of RAM that can be upgraded up to 32 gigs and also features NVMe storage with about one terabyte here. So let's say from like a spec level, this particular one is very focused towards like creativity and also people who are doing software related tasks that need a pretty decent amount of power and a good portable machine that is able to handle more intensive than average tasks. So for example, I personally use DaVinci Resolve when it comes to video editing, as well as a little bit of Photoshop and Lightroom. And with the integrated graphics, it was actually able to handle very well. And with the 12th generation Intel i7 processor, I was able to run multiple tasks, both in the foreground and the background at the same time. And the 16 gigs of RAM was generally enough. The stylus is also really nice, especially if you use apps such as Photoshop or like Pixelmator and are trying to create things or take notes on the computer. But personally, I don't find myself using the stylus as much, but I do find that the touch function is an extra layer of intuitive input that I use all the time in conjunction with the trackpad or an external mouse. With how thin and light the laptop is, the amount of versatility is just a really nice bonus and you're able to use it as both a leisure and like a multimedia device, as well as your day-to-day -day productivity and essentially run everything that you need from it and customize the spec specifically within the form factor that you think suits your lifestyle best. When it comes to the battery life, the Intel Evo laptops feature fast charging that gives you about four hours of usage with just 30 minutes of charge via USB type C and they require over nine hours of battery life and this computer is able to meet that. If you're running like general tasks and administrative stuff and also watching some movies, you should be able to get into the nine to 10 hour territory relatively easily. Another really good touch on the multimedia side is the collaboration between HP and Bang & Olufsen continued. We've seen this on past HP laptops and with a computer that is meant to be used as like a two-in-one as a tablet and also in the tent mode having some great speakers is really important and the sound quality and the amount of power that it's able to deliver is pretty good for a laptop computer so when it comes to wrapping up the experience of the hp specter x360 intel evo laptop I would say that if you're looking for the ultimate productivity Windows computer, it really does check a lot of boxes and some of the new features such as the OLED display, as well as a 12th generation processor, the faster Wi-Fi, and also great battery life really come together with all the refinements that the Spectre line has seen over the years to the ultimate 360 degree computer that they have in front of us today. I think the one right here looks really good. It is like a blackish brown color, but it is also available in silver and navy, which I have checked out over the years. And it really does come down to your personal preference in that front. They really have paid attention to all the details when it comes to the audio and multimedia experience, as well as a decent webcam and dual microphone. But I would say the only complaint I have is that I wish there was a few more inputs. I understand a computer of this size can often be a little bit limited on that front, but I think they could have at least added maybe one or two additional USB type C ports, but I'm totally fine with having one USB type A port on the side here. So to sum it up for any creative out there who's looking for just an all-in-one computer or a student out there, this is a really good option, but it definitely isn't made for stuff like gaming. And if you need extreme graphic performance, then you might wanna look into computers that have dedicated graphics, but they just won't be in this type of form factor, size, and versatility. If you enjoyed this video as always, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.